Hello. 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 Um, I feel privileged to be here to play in front of you. Also to to show my culture to you and also to collaborate with your culture and see what we can come up with. Yeah. So I come from Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Is my accent okay? It's okay. Or should I try to sound Indian? No. Is it okay? Okay. So um, I play my my first instrument is goma from my, my culture. And then I also play jembe. I play the vast of um, hand drumming instruments. And also I play bira marimba from my country. So I also make and uh, make play and also teach uh, instruments. So this drum is called jembe. I know most of you might, might be familiar with it. And it's from West Africa. West Africa, um, areas like Mali, Burkina Faso, Guinea. And mostly, it, uh, it has two tones. Two tones that you, you can't struggle to buy. It will be bass and tone. And other tones require a specific technique to buy, like say the slave. But you can also find another tone close to the name. So it's just a three basic tones. And then from that, you have a slap from here. And then that slap can be mutated in like this. And then there is another slap from here. Can be muted and be like this. So um, every note can be muted. You can have an open bass like, and then you can have it also like. You can have the tone as, you can have it as, same for this step like I showed before. So now I'm just going to demonstrate a simple ry rhythm using the no uh, like the the strokes that I showed you. But for us also in Zimbabwe, we use uh, a tone called tap. And tap, um, like when you play, there's a sound like this most of the time. And then for Zimbabwe, we accent that, that, that stroke and make it. So for example, I'll show you a pitch with the bass and tap and joy. So that's, that's um, using bass and, and tone and, and tap. You will notice that um, we make demarcations of each beat to make it four. Are like four demo demarcations, like take a dimmy, take a dimmy. So for those, we we use the tap every time we have that thing, so that it con it continues to give you the metronome in the head, and then you just accent different. So for example, you check every time I'm doing this. maybe six bars you can put something like a field. I'll start with the what do you call a field? Another name. There is another name that I have. Like um
Okay, like what Chabla players are playing, and then there's something they do like Tahi, 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 this is like our T.I.E. What? Please, excuse me. What's the name? T.I.E. T.I.E. Okay. So the T.I.E. comes after um, six bars. We put it in this. It takes just four or uh, two bars to complete. It to be eight, eight, eight. So I'll show you. I'll demonstrate for you. First, I'll show you the T.I.E. Just simple one. So it will be... So it takes a, a space of Yeah. 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 You can orchestrate the TIE, changing from and also instead of you can flame the you see. So the second part you want. Okay. So I'll demonstrate. You will see more during the concert. There will be a time that I will, I will show more. So, uh, another instrument is called Bira. This is a Bira Uru. Like, uh, it means Bira, the biggest Bira. Not because of size, but because of its uh, duty. Because it's an instrument that is like a used for for ancestral worship. It was used for ancestral worship before. So it was like a sacred instrument. So most of the times it's like it's strict like uh, what you do. It, 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 it doesn't allow much improvisation, but improvisation is to be like knowing how it's done from traditional. So they are always uh, like um, a block, like uh, there's a way you should improvise. And then you, you can't go the other <coughs> way, or the essence will be lost. So this instrument, you see, it's made from wood. This wood is called mokwa, mokwa or blood wood. In English, they call it blood wood. Or if it's African, Africans is like Dutch, they call it kiat. Then this wood is the wood used for making instruments in Zimbabwe because it has a lot of vibration. So it has uh, like metal rings, uh, like metal bars, but ring flattened by hitting with the hammer. And then we have different notes. So there's like a bridge here, and then all the notes vibrate from this bridge, leaving this bridge like a keyboard. Um, it has 24 notes, and then we use only the two thumb, thumbs and the right hand four finger. And then first we put um, this baby finger here, and then this place on this, and this one place one two three, and this one place from beneath underneath. I'll just demonstrate for you. A song uh, called Mauro. Let's see, let's see this way. Oh, should I just play? Just play, okay.
uh, this, this type of um, playing is also is a special way of singing. It's, it's so uh, it's like you're telling, but you're telling from Zimbabwe. We call it maonyera. So there's like three ways that you sing maonyera from the stomach and also from like a. Uh, uh, from the throat and also head voice. So I will just demonstrate using my own also. that we play. But mostly in Africa, there is much room for improvisation that you find maybe in a group of six drummers, all of them don't, don't play the same way. Maybe a bit different way of playing, uh, like sticky. Maybe they say right, 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 left, left, right, right, right. But that one maybe can be playing head to head. Some can be tracking, you see. So I will just show you um, one rhythm from from Kini called Shoshoni. comes with um, tribes that that sing and clear because uh, uh, like maybe say a tribe from from my country I'll show you something from from uh, a, a language that we speak in Botswana and Zimbabwe called Botswana and also there are people like the original inhabitants of Southern Africa are the same people the same people have a way of singing and their way of so maybe if I will show you like the clapping, you'll be like. You can join me. Okay. 
<laughs> it sounded like popcorn. <laughs> <coughs> so maybe if we make it like one, compact, one. So there are a lot of rhythms that you have to do with rainmaking. So the rhythm like let me say mafuwe. Mafuwe is like when when the clouds are there and then there is thunder and lightning, but there is no rain. So maybe if it continues for a month, uh, then we play a rhythm called mafuwe. Also there is another one called zota mandi. It depends with the with our reach in that year. So Mafue is a combination of many drummers. So for instance, one will be playing, it's a, in 12 eight, but we count it as one, two, three, four. So it will be like a triple, one, two, three, one, two, three, three, two, three, four, three, four, one, two, three, four, 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 three, So the first rhythm will be, ah, So 
uh, the other one also. One, two, three, four. So when 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 you listen from and when everyone is playing, because we'll be using different types of drums. It'll be like something to be So maybe you sh I invite you to come to Zimbabwe and see. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is the traditional instrument, but that, uh, that part, you are ready? Or it is three metal parts. Three metal parts. This one? Yeah. This one's um, uh, improvisations from, from uh, what you say, like modification, adding accessories done by other Jembe players uh, from earlier on. So that also, because uh, you, you notice that Maybe in percussion there will be something that's making like a shaker also. So also this can cover up for a shaker. Also to give a near sound. You can, you can play it. It depends with that. Um, it depends with how you want to use it. But mostly, if maybe it's like this, you see, also it's a ch 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 Or you can play it. It depends with how you want to use it. Would you like to listen one last piece to just make a power? Okay. Yeah. Only you. Okay, uh, there, there's something that, okay, there's something that they were talking about, flamenco, and the rhythm from Zimbabwe is also similar. Because um, we have something like, it will be counting one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then you'll find out from that uh, rhythm, they'll be clapping like. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So, uh, I'll, I'll, for now, I'll combine the two questions that he asked. You said uh, for flamenco, so you, you clap that. And then I will play one, two, three, one, and something, just a demonstration. So,
So, uh, this rhythm is like someone is counting in four, another one is counting in three, the other one is counting double time. You see. So, if for uh, for example, other one is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, other one is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Maybe this one. The other one is counting half the time of that one. And also, it happens that if it's like that, that's the basic, but it doesn't end there. Because someone maybe can check this one. And you know, start with. Is one of them. One, so, two, three, four, one, two, three. so what when you listen it will be like calling with me. But uh, uh, around those three, three. those three times. Yeah. 